This video will look at whether a zoom lock or RLS fitting is worth the extra cost. We will look at labor savings, material cost, break even point, and the other features of using a press fit fitting. So how much labor can you save by using an RLS or a zoom lock fitting? There are three ways to save when using a non-flame press fit fitting. First, there is the simple fact that setting up and performing a brazed joint takes more time. If we look at MCA labor units, for those of you who are unfamiliar with MCA, the Mechanical Contractors Association of America, they are an industry organization who as part of their service provides publications, training, and a database of labor units garnered through a contractor surveys. They did a labor survey which documented the amount of time it takes to install various pipes, valves, and fittings. And they published this database for use by the industry and for those with computerized estimating software. So, if we look at the time it takes to do a press fit versus a braze joint, we can see anywhere from a 61% to a 79% savings on a coupling. So times will vary based on the skill level of the person brazing, which brings up the next labor saving item. So the second way you can save additional labor cost is by using a less skilled worker for a press fit joint as compared to a braze joint. It takes a higher skill level to perform a good braze than it does to perform a good press fit joint. And the third way to save on labor cost is that by using a press fit joint you save on not having to have an additional person stand fire watch as the person doing the brazing can't also be the fire watch. This means at least two people to make a braze joint compared to one when using an RLS or zoom lock fitting in a commercial building. When brazing with an open flame in an enclosed area within a building you'll need to be aware of the smoke detectors You'll need to deactivate them or cover them so they don't go off. And with an open flame, you're going to need a fire watch and a hot permit. So a fire watch is going to require you to have an extra guy standing by with a fire extinguisher who has been trained and understands the protocols and procedures in case of an emergency, in case you light something on fire with your brazing activities. You won't have that problem with a zoom lock or an RLS type fitting that requires no flame, no fire watch, no hot permit required. So you save labor by not having that extra guy having to stand there just for a fire watch. So where you would take one person to do a zoom lock fitting, you're going to need two people in some of these situations, one to be the fire watch and one to do the actual work. Also, if you have a flammable storage area or other rooms that contain materials easily ignited, a flameless application will work best. Also, if you have people that have chemical sensitivities or within a senior living facility, it's just safer overall not to have to use a flame. So if you can use the zoom lock or RLS fitting, the press fit fitting for your refrigeration system, you're going to be a lot safer and reduce your labor cost. You will find that the cost for a zoom lock or an RLS fitting will be anywhere from 11 to 24 times that of your regular brazed fitting. The cost can differ based on the size and the type of fitting you're purchasing. Also, it'll be based on your company's buying power and the discount your supplier provides you between the press fit type and the braze type. 
So you can figure anywhere on average of paying 14 times the value of a brazed fitting for a press fit fitting. In order to determine our break-even point, let's first discuss labor rates and how they affect your decision on whether to use a more expensive press fit fitting as compared to brazing. As your labor rates get higher, as in the case for a union contractor, the feasibility of using the RLS or zoom lock fitting easily makes more sense. This is because as you shorten the time for any task you save at a greater rate, the higher your labor rate is. For example, if it takes you an hour to do a group of braised joints and you pay your workers $90 an hour, that equals $90 of labor for that hour. If you pay your workers $70 an hour, but only spend a half hour because you're using a bunch of press fit fittings, then the labor cost for the same amount of fittings is $35. As long as the RLS or zoom lock fittings didn't cost you more than $55, which is the difference between the braised and press fit labor costs, then you would have saved money. This is only using a conservative 50% labor saving factor. Okay, here's a real easy break even calculator comparing braised versus a press fit like zoom lock or RLS. You can get this at our website vrfwizard.com. And as you see, you just list the fittings you have over here, the quantity, description of the fitting, the size, and then how much it costs for the braise and how much you're going to pay for the zoom lock. Let's say it's 28 bucks. So this will tell you right away that the multiplier is a 14.0. You're paying 14 times as much for a zoom lock or RLS fitting as you are for the braise fitting. And you come over here and you put a unit of hours in. Let's say it's going to take a half hour each and that gives you five hours total. You got 10 fittings, half hour each, five hours total. And then it comes to a total labor cost based on the hourly rate you put in. So you can see the braised rate is at 90. The press fit is at 75. So like we talked about, you have a less skilled worker for your press fit than your braised. So you can change these based on your own labor rates. And then you can put the percentage of savings. So this says you're going to save 60%. So as you see, you got five hours for the braise and the calculator automatically calculated that you were going to save 60% of the labor. So you're only going to use two hours for a press fit fitting. So based on that, it tells you what your total cost is. You can see labor wise, braise is much more expensive than it is for the press fit. So you're saving on your labor cost. But if you look at the material, you can see the material only cost you $20 for 10 fittings and it costs you $280 for a zoom lock RLS. Now, of course, these are just examples. You have to put in your own values. And then if you come down here to the summary, you can see that you are saving money based on using a press fit zoom lock RLS type fitting with this scenario. Now, of course, you have to put your own information in, and this is with no fire watch. With a fire watch, it even gets better. Up here, you just put the percentage of time extra in addition to these five hours that you'll need for a fire watch. Of course, the whole time is embracing, so you don't need the fire watch guy there the whole time. So you can change this value based on how much time you think you'll use. If you think he's going to wait, stand there the whole time, you can put 100%. And you can see the savings. You're saving $490 based on this scenario. But if you change your labor rates and you go to lower labor rates, look, we won't change anything else here except the labor rates. So if you are non-union, and let's say you pay your guys 50 bucks and uh, press fit guys 40 bucks, you can see just by changing the labor rate, these values change. Now it's not as feasible. You're not saving any money with these lower rates unless you have 
a requirement on the brazing side to use a fire watch. So this simple calculator will help you determine quickly whether or not it's feasible to use a brace fitting based on those parameters that affect you, which is basically your labor rate and whether or not you're going to require a fire watch and your multiplier for your cost of your press fitting. In summary, this is what you might want to consider if you're not already convinced of using a press fit fitting. No fire watch or hot permit, which also means less labor as no one is required to be standing by with a fire extinguisher. No toxic byproducts from brazing. No complaints by occupants about the smell caused by brazing. No complaints from occupants with chemical sensitivities irritated by brazing byproducts. You avoid creating hazardous conditions in sensitive areas or sensitive facilities like a senior facility. You can use a less skilled worker to make a press fit joint than a brazed joint. You can reduce the time required to finish a project. Last but not least, you could save some money. We'll leave a link in the description below to the ZoomLock versus Braze Fitting Break-Even Calculator. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe.